Hello everyone, my name is Khanam and this is my 26th video in react series. In our previous video, we have learned about props. Okay, we have seen how to pass the data from the parent component to child component and how to change the data here. Okay, you can see I have changed this data using prop, this web development Python and whatever you can see here. I have changed this data using prop and I'm just accessing that attributes. Okay, we have already seen prop is nothing but it is an object. If I just uh, do inspect. And here in my console, if I show you the output, you can see here inside this, I'll be getting all this data object object. Okay, prop is nothing but an object. And using that prop, I am just accessing this image title paragraph and button. Okay, we have already seen in our previous tutorial how to use props and how to pass this data. Now in this tutorial from here, I'll just remove these two things two components from here. I'll save this and now I'll be having only four cards here. One, two, three and four. And you can see here inside each component, I'm just passing this title web development image source text and button text for second also. I'm just passing this one. And for third also, I'm just passing like this. Okay. Now we will see how to create simple API and how to pass that API data. Instead of writing this one, we are going to pass API data here. Okay. I'll just do control B and here inside SRC, I'll just create one file. I'll give my file name as data. I'll just give here data.js. Now inside this data.js, I'll just create one variable const. I'll give my variable name as data. And inside this, I'll be creating array of objects. Okay, first I have image src. Okay, I'll just copy this entire thing from here. I'll just copy this and here I'll be pasting that one. And once it comes to objects, we have to pass here key value pairs. So we should be using colon here. We should not be using equal to sign. I'll just write here colon and also we have to separate using comma. I'll just write here comma. Okay, this is my first array of object. This is my array, this square bracket and this is my object. Okay, I'm just creating simple API. I'll just separate using comma and this second value I'm just going to pass here. I'll just copy this one and here I'll be pasting that one. And instead of this equal to, I'm just going, I'll just do control F. I'll be giving it equal to sign equal to I just want to change it to colon here. I'll do replace all. I'll just separate using comma, comma, comma and comma. And here I'll just give here equal to sign. Okay, because it is being changed. Now this is my array and this is my first object. Okay, which is called as first element of array, which will be having zeroth index. This is my second element of array, which will be having index number one. Now in the same way, I'll just open and close this curly braces. I'll just copy this third data from here. I'll copy this one and here I'll be storing that one. I'll just separate using comma and here I'll just change it to colon. Because it is a key value pair and key value should always be separated using colon. And again, th fourth data, I'll just copy from here. And again, I'm just going to paste that one. Again, I'm just going to do the same thing, comma, comma, comma. And here, 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 and here. I'll just give colon here. I'll save this. I'm getting some error here. And I have two comma here. I'll just remove one. Now you can see here, I have just created one variable data. And inside this, I'm just passing this array of objects. This is my first object. This is my second object. And this is my third object and this is my fourth object which is having the index number three and my length of the array is four one two three and four and the first data will be having zeroth index second will be having one third will be having two and fourth will be having three okay totally i'll be having zero one two three index and length is four okay now i have just created this api now i have to export this api only then i can use this one i'll be giving here export default whatever variable name I'm having, I'm just writing that export default data here. Okay, now once I export this one, I can use this data, this file inside any of the file. Now I want to use inside app.js. So to use that one, I have to import that one. Import, I'll just give here data, import data from and inside my data file, I want to import that data. I'll save this. And now here, instead of writing this, instead of writing this data, because I have already stored this data inside my array. So instead of writing that one here, I'll just give the file name that is data because here I have just created data.js. So I'll just give it data.js and I'm importing this data, which is having all array of objects. 
with this is array and this is objects so i'm just importing that variable and here i'm just importing that one now instead of writing this path instead of writing this one i'm just going to use that array array is nothing but it is a javascript so to use javascript we have to enclose in curly braces i'll be writing curly braces and this value this variable will be having all the data i'll just paste that one and this is my zeroth index data so i'll be writing here zero here inside this now this is array of objects i'll just copy this one and here to access that i'll just write here dot i'll save this you can see i don't have any error which means that it is successfully displayed here i don't have any error for this in the same way i'll just write like this i'll just write curly braces here i'll just copy this entire thing and here i'll be pasting that one i'll just remove this double quotes from here array is part of javascript so javascript should always be enclosed in curly braces when we are using that inside our jsx element okay this is our jsx element and inside this itself we are using this one so we have to wrap javascript inside curly braces here instead of this i'll just copy this title and here i'll be pasting that one okay you can give any names here you can give any names here and here also you can give any names but here whatever you are accessing that one that should be matching with this name okay i'm just giving the same name because we don't get confused and also i'm just going to remove this and here i'll just give it data zeroth index dot text and here also i'll just remove this one and instead of that i'll be writing here data zeroth index dot i have btn i'll save this and now if you see here i don't have any error and also i got this output if i just give here btn1 i'll save this and now you can see here i don't have any text inside this button okay i don't have any data because this btn1 is not available inside this data i have to here btn so i'm not getting that data if i just give here btn1 i'll save this and now you can see i'll be getting this data okay this value whatever you are having here btn1 that should be matching with this one whatever you are having inside array i'll just remove one from here and also from here i'll save this and now if i show you i have this output now in the same way from here also i'm going to remove all this data from here and from here so i'll just copy this from here and instead of this i'll be pasting that one and here also i'll just paste that one and also here i'll be pasting that one now i'm just going to change this index numbers here 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 and here i'll just give one i'll save this and now if i show you the output you can see i don't have any error and i got this output now here also i'm just going to change because i have index number 00 you can see this image this image this image this title is everything is same okay this everything is same because i have copied this code and i have written inside the third and fourth component now i'm just going to change that one i'll just give here two and finally i'll just give here three i'll just give here three and i'm just going to write here three i'll just close this i'll save this one now if you see here i have different images different text and i have this button and title okay using api we are just importing that api here i'm just exporting that api and here i'm just passing this data here okay using this array array is nothing but it is an object and we have to enclose in curly braces i'm just writing that one and zeroth index whatever data i'm having here inside this zeroth index okay we are just accessing the data from the api and we are just storing that one here okay we are just getting the data here now in our next tutorial we are going to simplify even more and we will be seeing about map method how to use map method and how to access the data of the array and if i add here some more data here if i just come here if i add one more object here i'll just copy this one and here i'll just paste that one now you can see here i'm not getting this card here okay if i add new data this card is not been displayed but if i use here props if i just give here props i'll just copy this one and again i have to paste like this and here i have to change the index number i have to give here 4 4 and 4 and here also i have to give here 4 only then it will work and only then the date that card will be displayed here you can see that card is displayed okay each time if i add new data i have to write this component and i have to change the index number okay now we will see how to use this one using map method without giving any index how to give how to access whatever data if i add additional data as well how to access that data using map method okay in my next tutorial i'll be explaining you about map method and we will learn how to reduce this code Okay that's all for today's tutorial thank you so much for listening have a great day